Back up your important data like a god. Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. So today we're gonna to get into backup a little bit and doing it for free, but doing it successfully. A lot of people back up their data and then later on they're like, oh, why can't I read that data? Or why can't I not access it? Or where is it? So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna start backing up. And we're gonna do it the right way. Now, there's two different backups that I do. Number one is system backup which would be the boot drive, and number two is my data backup, like all of my photos, all of my video. I'm not gonna get into that video and photo backup right now because that will be for another video. Today, it's about the boot drive and how to make sure that number one, you're booting, Number two, it's a clean boot. There's no problems. You don't have any viruses or any kind of malware on there. And number three, all of your programs are there intact, okay? Those are the three critical things that you need to make sure um, you have in, work, in a working system so that you can actually do your job. You can actually work, right? You need to have a system that works. So what I do is I always create two different either partitions or two different drives, preferably two different drives that are about the same size, right? So we have a boot drive and then we have a backup boot drive. And on that backup is only backups of the actual boot drive. Okay, now you can do this many different ways. You can do it with um, a Cronus, for example. You can pay 60, 80, $100 and get a piece of software to do this. But today I'm gonna show you how to do it for free, how I do it. Still doing absolute perfect image backups, but doing it from within Windows. So all right guys, we wanna go down to the search and type in backup. From there, we're going to click on system settings and we can see that currently backup tab is open. We wanna click on more options, and then from there, click on see advanced settings. We're gonna go down to the bottom, and you see where it says system image backup. We're going to click that, because guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an entire system image an image of the entire boot drive. So if something was to happen, we can always use that image to restore from, and now we're back to a clean booting system, all right? So from here, you can see on the left-hand side, it says create a system image. We wanna click on that, and what it's going to do is it's going to look for previous backups. And once it finds it, it will show you when this backup was created and if this is the location that you would like to put your next backup. Now, as you can see here, it says on a disc, we can select on one or more DVD or on a network location. Now, what this allows us to do is to put this backup, this image that we're creating either on the network or we can burn DVDs of this backup or we can simply put it on another hard drive. Now, for me, it's putting it onto an external hard drive that is connected to the computer right now. I can always unplug that if I need to and leave with it, or we can leave it plugged in. So I like an external hard drive, maybe USB 3.0 or something like that, that is still quick, that is perfect for doing backup. That's what I use. Now, as you can see here, we have a drive called Boot Backup. Now, I label my drives like this so I know exactly what's there. I have a boot drive, and then I have a boot backup drive. I have a data drive, and I have a data backup drive. This is the drive, and as you can see, the most recent backup happened on 7-5-2017 at 1 p.m. Now, the issue here with using an image backup system built into Windows 10 is that it only allows you to save one backup at a time. If I was to do it, it would overwrite this current backup that we have. Now, we don't want that to happen, but I'm gonna show you how to get around that in just a second. So from here, we're going to hit next, and then it's going to say, what do you want to back up? Now, we want the EFI system partition, it's already checkmarked, we want the C drive, that's your boot drive, that's already checkmarked, and if we come down here, you can see the recovery system also is checkmarked. That is perfect, we wanna hit next, and now it's going to list what it's going to back up, 
all the same things, the EFI system partition, the C drive, which is the boot drive, as well as the recovery partition. It wants to put it over here on boot backup, which would be drive F, and that's perfect. And it says it'll take approximately 91 gigabytes. Now that 91 gigabytes, guys, is basically a clean system, and it's all that it has on it is some of my recording software, as well as the entire Adobe CC suite and a couple of other packages for doing work. That is it, there's nothing else there. So that comes to 91 gigabytes. So if we were to click start backup right now, it would back up the entire drive, but it would replace the one that's currently there and we don't want that to happen. So let's go ahead and open up our file finder. All right, and here you can see all four of the drives. We have the C drive, that's my boot drive, the data drive, then we have the boot backup, and then we have the data drive backup. What we want to do is go into the drive where it's going to save the data to or where it's going to write that image to and that is the boot backup drive. So as you can see here we have backup number one, backup number two, backup number three and what they are is different states of backing up. The first one which says OS only, that is basically just the operating system and nothing else. Then we have backup number two which I did Adobe software. So it's all of Adobe CC as well as a few of the other pieces of software that I use for recording. Finally, we have here backup number three, which I did just prior to doing the content creators update because I know it was a very large update to Windows 10 and it had a possibility of hosing the system and I need to do production. So if I needed to go backwards, I could without any problem. As you can see here, let's say if we go into the OS only, you'll see there's a folder in here called Windows Image Backup. If I go back one, and I go into Adobe, you can see there's another. So as you can see here, each one of these Windows image backups, that is the entire image of the system when I create it. If I was to have hit start backup just moments ago, what it would have done was created that file called Windows image backup and placed it right here in the root directory. So this is where the special sauce comes in. What we want to do is make sure that every time we back up the system, there is not a version of the backup in the main directory. So we create these subfolders. As you can see here, we have backup one, backup two, backup three, and I labeled them what they are. What we could do now is create, for example, a backup four. And now when we create that new backup, we take that folder called Windows Image Backup and drag it into backup number four. If we left that folder in the root directory, it would be overwritten the next time we create the backup. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change cameras and I'm gonna show you exactly how to restore one of these backups. But before we do, we have to put one of these backups into this root directory. If not, Windows won't even see that it exists. So we're gonna take this file and we're gonna drag it right back into the main directory. There we go. So now, if we go into OS only, you'll see that that file or that backup is no longer there. It's in the main directory. Now that is exactly where Windows 10 will find it. Going forward, if I wanted, for example, to have gone backwards from content creators update, I would simply go into this directory and then drag this backup into the main root folder and that's the one that the system would use when doing its restore. So let me go and change cameras and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this restoration. What we're gonna do is boot into the BIOS, but first we're going to plug in our Windows boot key, right? Our USB drive that houses our Windows software. So if you do not have a retail copy of your Windows 10, what you would do is create a Windows recovery USB stick and boot off that instead. I'm going to move this Microsoft Windows 10 to the top position so that now when we go and reboot the system, it will boot into our USB key. Now, select Windows Setup 64. So what we're gonna do here is click No. And as you can see, what pops up is the Windows Setup page. From here, just simply click Next. And now it says Install Now. We do not want to install fresh, so click on Repair Your Computer. What we wanna do is click 
troubleshoot. From here, click advanced options. Now we have a bunch of other options. We have system restore, system image, start repair, command prompt, your UEFI firmware settings, as well as going back. What we want to do here is select system image recovery. Then click Windows 10. Now it scans for any backups that it can use for restoration. And as you can see, it found that image backup in our root directory of boot backup. What the system will do now is simply restore your main boot drive to exactly how it was in, for example, for the one that we use, the OS only version of this backup. That means that when we go back into the system, everything will be exactly how it was when we just first installed the operating system fresh, virgin, with nothing else in it. So that is perfect to be able to use that for later on if you end up with problems, you can go always back to the very, very beginning. Now, for me, I like to have a good tier base stepping stone so that I can always go back a little bit, a little bit, and a little bit more. It's until we get to a point where we have a clean install. Because for example, if we were to get a virus or some type of malware, we really don't know when we got that specific virus. So we need to step back until we find a clean spot. My suggestion to you is always to have three copies of your backup one that's on location, one that's off location, and one on a different source of media. And when I say a different source of media it might be instead of um, a DVD, let's say you do all of your backups on DVD, we'll also have one maybe on a pen drive. Or maybe you do all of your backups on a pen drive, do one on a hard drive, or maybe on a DVD. Switch it up a little bit because file formats change over time, things change over time, and it's good to have multiple backups on different media sources. Now, when I say have a backup on in your location, a fast USB drive, they work out perfect. And as far as having a version away from the location, what I like to do is to put a copy on one of these. Now this is a USB key, it's literally like the size of my thumbnail. But what's amazing with this is, this is like 128 gigs. I could take that entire 91 gigs for that image and stick it on there and have it in my pocket at all times. So now we have another one in case of fire that's in my pocket at any time I can go and restore any computer anywhere to that specific backup and now be able to work immediately. So if you enjoyed the content, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel so you can get all of this tips, tricks, how to's and whatever kind of nonsense that I come up with when I do come up with it immediately. And don't forget to head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've invented for photographers just like you. So that's it, guys. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.